Who's here? May God be with you all. My name is Alex, otherwise known as Pugapillow across all my social platforms. Follow it. Right? Do it. We're going to be watching something a little bit spooky today in light of it being its 40th anniversary, which is the movie called Poltergeist, which came out in 1902. Uh, so 40 years later, we're watching it. Ideally, I don't really want to be watching this movie right now, and I'll tell you why. Last night didn't get the best amount of sleep possible uh, because my fiance actually slept talked and she said uh, that there were people in our house. Yeah, I didn't really sleep too well after that, as you can probably imagine. She was half asleep, so I can't blame her, but, um, yeah, apparently there's people in our house. Uh, don't know why they're not paying rent. Also, just really quickly, if you're wondering why there's a camping chair there with nothing in it, it's actually for my invisible friend named Billy. Actually got to know the dude last night that lives in our house, and, um, turns out he's a really nice guy. How about you say something? Oh, He's actually a bit shy. It's actually got my emotional support animal in it. Here's a picture of what he currently looks like. Actually, rather than take a picture, this is how I'll get his attention. Yeah, there you go, see, there's his head. If you're new to my channel, hi, hello, how are you going? Leave me a comment with literally anything that's in your brain. All right, the first thought, do, 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 go. And as always, if you enjoy the content, my videos in general, channel, reactions, whatever, make sure you subscribe, ding the notification bell, ding, 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 ding. And I have a Patreon for early access videos if you're interested in seeing videos a whole day early or you just want to support me further. But for now, uh, let's watch Poltergeist because I don't really want to watch it. Poltergeist. Do you reckon that line's dead now? Surely, that line has to be deceased. America, the land of the free, self-righteous men and women. I'm Australian, right? So the only association I have with the national anthem is when Bane, like, blew up that stadium. Which, <laughs> which is saying something. America. The land- I'm not gonna do it again. Dude, that guy's neck would have to be so sore after watching TV at that angle. God damn. Oh. If the dog dies, I'm gonna kill someone. Oh no, the potato chips on the bed! Oh, this movie seems way too quiet, but I feel like if I turn it up, there's gonna be a massive sound and it's gonna scare the shit out of me. I'm sorry, but that's a really ugly bed frame. What even is that? It looks like the- back of a peacock. You know how they have the big circle wings, feather things? Sucks if she has epilepsy or something because uh, she's going down. Something to do with the TV? She's like, damn, I can hear the static from my bedroom. I can't sleep properly. Now turn it off. Oh, Jesus Christ. There wasn't even an epilepsy warning at the start. What do you look like? Is that ad-libbed? That wasn't even matching her mouth. Oh, Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm at a club. <sighs> yeah, I'll match it. I'll match your energy, movie. Oh, oh. <laughs> how is multicolored even worse? <laughs> oh my God. Ah, oh, fuck me, my eyes. Steven Spielberg. What? Did he make this? Those roads would be way more populated than that. Look how many houses are around. There'd be way more cars on that highway. Oh, fuck. Toby Hooper's back again. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre bloke. Wow, Toby Hooper and Steven Spielberg working together? This means this movie should be good. Oh, bro. Invest in some antiperspirant. I just know that anyone he rides past is just getting a whiff of that B.O. <laughs> Me fucking bees! <laughs> That's such a funny image. All these grown men around a small TV. Look at all that Star Wars merch. Oh my god. You even rocking the bloody Star Wars bed sheet. That is brave. Oh, couldn't you have waited for school day? The bird's not gonna tweet back. Uh, tw <laughs> There's a Twitter joke. Who the hell is this guy? That's Mr. Rogers! Legend! 
I only know about him because of Tom Hanks. My neighbors are on the same the remote. Oh, come on. Is that even possible? That's not possible, right? I wasn't alive in the 80s, so I don't really know, but there can't be that sort of interference. I think the bloody ghost is just playing funny buggers with you. Oh. 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 Tweety just has to go for a little swim, darling, okay? We're trying to find a new hiding spot so Sylvester doesn't get her. Oh, well, that kid is falling out of that tree. Much like the bird fell off its hypothetical tree. Tweety doesn't like that smell. Sweetheart, Tweety can't smell it. Wait, you named the bird... T I knew it. Tweety. It's a new lunchbox for school. <laughs> when he's lonely, when it's night time. That's a bit cute. That's very cute. I just know for a fact she's going to grow up to be a teenager and be like, uh, Mum, you traumatized me when you tried to flush that bird down the toilet, okay? I pray the Lord my soul to take. Little children are so creepy in movies like this, I know I'm going to be freaked out. Oh, the dog! The dog! He's going for an afternoon snack! Come and get it. You wonder why your bird died. You probably overfed it. I don't know if fish can be like classified as morbidly obese, but that one's going to be that in the morning. Oh god, what the fuck? What is about to happen? I didn't like that. Why was that such a lingering shot? Ugh, no, I did not like that at all. You know what happens when you overfeed goldfish? They have to find a dietitian, and they can't because they're fish and they don't have jobs to pay for a dietitian. Mom, there's a big storm headed this way. Nah, I couldn't sleep in my bedroom if I had that Darth Vader thing in the back. When I turn the lights off, I know for a fact that thing would creep the shit out of me. <laughs> my fault. Turn it on, Mommy! Oh, get that fucking clown puppet out of my room. You mean, uh, you mean this is for good? God damn, this man is addicted to TV. I would hate to see what he was like when smartphones came out. You know, once I sleepwalked four blocks. Here's a fun fact. I'm a sleepwalker. Uh, <laughs> yep. One time, actually got up in the morning and all my plates were out on the table. <laughs> so at some point during the night, I got up, opened the cupboards and put plates on the table. <laughs> Dig the pool close to the house and let the kids jump off the roof, you know? What a random time to start doing push-ups! Your diving days are over. <laughs> You're gonna break the bed frame if you dive onto that. Really dumb question. Do fish sleep? And if so, how? Fuck you. Get that thing out of the room. Oh, God. Throw that thing in the fucking bin. Also, why are you sleeping with your window wide open? Dumb kid, shut the blinds. I don't know if um, putting Chewbacca over the top is scarier or less scary. Oh, the fucking clown's not going to have the Chewbacca thing on it anymore, is it? This an old tree. It's been around here a long time. Shut the blinds, okay? Shut them. looks at me. It knows I live here. You know, I think the storm's going to pass us. How do you know? I'm actually a secret meteorologist. Is that the... Is that what a weather person's called? What is a weather person called professionally? Oh, it is a meteorologist! <laughs> when you see the lightning, you count until you hear the thunder. Yep, and then that's roughly how many kilometers away it is. Want to try it? Okay. It's so funny if the storm just stopped now. Okay. There you go. Happy dreams, okay? Wow, she is brave. <laughs> I gotta tuck myself in, man. Those monsters can't get me once I'm under that doona. If I'm not wearing my doona, it's free reign. They can just come pick me up, take me away, kidnap me. <laughs> Fuck that. No, Dana. Okay. Got phone, Dana. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, my dad is so annoying. I just want to play 80s version of Angry Birds. <laughs> Oh, fucking shit. Just because it's further away does not mean the storm is not louder. <laughs> I love the cutaway. The kids are suddenly in bed because of the thunder. That's great. Kind of crazy that some Americans would actually go to sleep with the American theme song on. Did I just call it the American theme song? I meant national anthem. There's something off about the TV. They're, ugh. What is it? Is it faulty? 
It's okay, the cable just fell out the back. Just plug it back in. I find it hard to believe that little TV is lighting up the room like this. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, that's bad. Is it whispering? Oh, I don't want to turn my headset up in ca just in case. <laughs> ah! Fucking shit! <sighs> what the hell? What kind of TV is this? Oh, oh I don't like the music. That thunder must have got pretty close. Who's here? I'm selling that child. <laughs> Who's cleaning that up afterwards? If we're throwing cereal at each other, okay? Last night when you said they're here. Can I take my goldfish to school? No, how about you answer that question actually? Because I need to know who's here now. Do you remember when you woke up and you said they're here? Well, who did you mean? Who's here? The TV people. <laughs> They've come to fix the cable. How the hell did you do that? Good work, Mini Hulk. How did that not break the rest of the cup? Oh God, get her away from that TV. Hey, uh, sweetie, there's nothing interesting on that channel, okay? Maybe flick it to a different one. Caroline, I've told you guys to push your chairs in when you're done with the table. The TV people said that the chairs aren't important at the table. You're gonna ruin your eyes, this is not good for you. Static isn't good for her, but watching a war film is. Oh, uh, no worries. No, no. Coming back. Oh God. <laughs> We're selling this place and moving, yeah? If a dog does that, that is a very bad sign. Oh, uh, creepy hand, creepy kid. Oh, <laughs> okay, I think the ghost may have been an interior decorator in their past life. TV people. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Do you see them? Oh, God. Uh-uh. Oh, phew. That means there's nobody in the house. Oh, God, what did my fiancé say last night? Oh, sh**! Wow, they even got the chairs, like, half off the table? That is impressive. I think you're really gonna enjoy this kitchen. This is our, uh, our latest <laughs> Did they sell it? Fuck yes, get out of there. Did they actually use common sense and get out of that place? That is so smart. Honey, I can't tell one house from the other. Oh no, I think it's just a copy-paste house. Much like today's modern houses, really. Come here, quick, hurry before it stops again. But baby, it's midnight. You know how important midnight is. Nothing's gonna happen. Oh, you were a brave, uh, perky little ghost. Why are you excited about that? No! <laughs> no! Leave! What the fuck? No! What the fuck? What are you doing with your child? Hi, Ben. Oh, I missed your time. My TV's not on, so... Oh. That's how you know you're addicted to TV, my man. Is you go to your neighbors for help and they go... The TV's not on, buddy. Maybe you had experienced any disturbances lately. What, what kind of disturbances? Dishes or furniture moving around by themselves. Oh, you're asking the wrong bloke. You gotta ask my missus about that one. She's the one that rearranges furniture in our household. In the morning, I'm gonna call somebody in. Oh yeah? Who, for instance? Ghostbusters. Furniture movers we got. Strange phenomenon, there's no listing. Mystery Inc. You know, Scooby-Doo and that golden retriever could actually probably get along and communicate. And it won't just be that really broken dog English. What the fuck? This has to be a dream, right? What? Imagine explaining that to the grandparents. Yeah, your grandson got kidnapped by a tree. What the fuck? Ugh, it's in the closet. No, shut the door. 
Not all the Star Wars merch! Oh my god, the resale value's gonna go downhill! Oh, fuck yeah. See ya. That clown can fuck off. Oh, he's been eaten by the tree. That's why you should have invested in a better bed frame. If you had to spend a little bit more money, that wouldn't have broke. I mean, that's one way to get rid of the tree, isn't it? The tornado just skimmed you. Did you you just almost lost your children. Actually, I think you may have lost one of them. That's gonna be the clown. It's gonna be the clown. Ugh. Ew. Is this a dream or not? I don't think this is a dream anymore. Carol Ann has a sick idea of hide and seek. Oh no, she's gonna be it, TV? Guys, check TV. I've looked everywhere. This, this is crazy. Yeah. You still think that moving chair earlier is cool? Be careful, honey. <laughs> what was that dive? As someone who was a professional diver, that wasn't very professional. I would have stood back, got my arch, and then just dived headfirst in. And I probably would have broke my neck, honestly. Money. Money. Oh, she's in the TV. Hmm. She got Mike TV'd from Willy Wonka. I can't see you, mommy. You? Oh, that is fucking terrifying. You? At least now, if your child's annoying you, you can actually just mute the TV. And then you don't... <laughs> the benefit to this is, if your kid's annoying you, you can just mute the TV and then go on about your day. <laughs> Has there been any publicity about this event? You're telling me it wasn't a dream? Dude, get the fuck out of that house. Get out of that neighborhood. Move state. Move country. Uh, just take the TV with your daughter in it. With you. Would your family welcome a serious investigation of these disturbances? Uh, it shouldn't be an issue, Lorraine Warren. I wonder if a good bit of advice to give this family is, have you tried turning it off and on again? And if that doesn't work... Have you tried, like, Channel 9 or something? She might be on that one. It makes me wonder which he would prefer, to watch the football game with his mates or listen to his daughter on the TV. <laughs> could, you, could you imagine Caroline starts talking through the TV, his daughter, and he goes, Wait, please, the boys and I are trying to watch the game. Oh, my. That's not normal. That's not a normal bedroom. I actually kind of love how quirky the effects are. Of course, no one's been sleeping much. I wonder why. Honestly. How long have you been investigating haunted houses? Can't remember. But I definitely quit now. I, what I meant to say was it. It's definitely haunted. My daughter is alive somewhere inside this house. Where? Where is she? <laughs> it's probably going to seem a little strange. It's mommy, sweetheart. Uh, we want to talk to you. You might want to turn the volume up on the TV so everyone in the room can hear. Look at the door. Hey guys, I think it might be time to get a new dog. Uh, because that one is dysfunctional. Oh, oh, this dog was scared. <laughs> The teenage daughter's already stressed out enough with high school shenanigans and everything. <laughs> this is a bit much. Oh my god, I have an assignment due on Friday and I can't be dealing with this right now, Caroline. Come out of the TV. Tell her to stay away from the light. What the fuck happened just then? That wasn't... Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Did this house create the idea of portal? Mommy, there's here. Now I think about this might have been too much of a task for like Ghostbusters. <gasps> Whoa, what the hell? What just happened? She just moved through me. I don't think that was her. 
She went through my soul. <laughs> Where is she in the house, though? Is she in the walls? I don't get it. Attic? Do you guys even have an attic in this house? Uh, I think your uh, daughter might be going a little bit crazy now. I can't believe that wasn't a dream earlier. You guys should have moved out of that house instantly. Something took a bite out of me. You got bit? That is like a shark bite. You may be haunted by like a great white shark because that was like a great white shark bite. Can you imagine if this was like a modern concept and you were sitting there watching like Netflix Stranger Things, potentially, you're sitting there watching that and then like your daughter starts speaking to you through the TV and you're like, hey, come on, Eleven is kind of doing something really cool right now, can you just call me back later? Uh, <laughs> Stranger Things have happened. <laughs> And you are mentally fucked. Oh, I wouldn't have shared that with her though. I would have just down the hatch. We are being so professional right now. You like got killed. Oh shit, he woke up quick. He was like asleep just before. And now he's like, Hi oh, guys, I can whisper as well. All the answers to all the questions that you ever want to know are inside that light. But we don't go towards it, is what you were saying earlier. What if I'm looking to get a tan, alright? I'm gonna walk towards that light. You think you're still alive? Yeah. The lighting of that woman is insanely creepy. She's not even the ghost, <laughs> it's offsetting. Off-putting, my bad. They resist going into that light. They just, they just hang around. Watch TV, watch their friends grow up. Do you reckon the ghost is just like sitting in one of the chairs in the room just listening to this going, this is a really eye-opening conversation, guys. You know what? I'm just going to leave the shenanigans for the night. Let's have an open discussion about this. Listen, partner, maybe we ought to get some shut-eye. But first, to get some shut-eye, we have to shut up. I think he buzz with me when we go. I'm sure you can. Oh my god, stop whispering. I feel like I have to turn my headset up, but I know something is going to go bang in a second. She's going to have such a sore back in the morning. How did some people sleep like that? I don't get it. I thought he was just going to take a chomp out of that just then. Dude's seen some shit in his life. He's not worried about a raw steak. The dog's eating the steak? Nope. Is Casper a little bit hungry? Just want some nom noms. God, I hope you don't cook that afterwards. They're so unsanitary. That's been dragged across the bench. Who knows what's on there? Oh! Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's definitely not edible. That is way past its use by date. What the? It's just playing with his mind now? Oh! Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh! <laughs> Those practical effects are unreal! That's why a good nighttime routine is very important. The ghost is like, you know what? I've done a course in camera operating. I'll take it from here. That's a cool shot. I like that. That's awesome. Something's gonna come down the stairs. Oh, <laughs> ew. That is a gorgeous staircase though. Wow. I actually love that staircase. Does that mean I'm getting old? Because I can appreciate a good looking staircase? Hey bro, take your colleague's headphones off and fucking get out of there. I'd be waking everyone up. Honestly, I'd be screaming. It's kind of pretty though. I don't know what the fuck it is, but kind of pretty? Is that a person? Is that a person? I think so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's happening. What, what is going on? That kid is never, ever going to be the same ever again. He's never sleeping in a bedroom. He's, he's never sleeping again. I give that kid two weeks before he dies from sleep deprivation. Look at all of them. All those people. 
war veterans, right? They're wearing war hats. <laughs> Are they called war hats? That feels really disrespectful. I don't mean it that way. Hey man, I don't think you're old enough to be uh, getting a job as a taxi driver. I'm so glad this dog hasn't died. Let's keep it alive. Let's keep that energy up. Great idea to ship your son and dog away. Why did we not do that earlier? Why didn't we do that after the first night? Kind of brave to just send him off with a random taxi driver though with no one else in the car to make sure he gets to the destination properly? That taxi driver could be Ted Bundy and you've never seen that kid again either. Hi, I'm coming back. And I'll bring some help. I would say the same thing to that mum, but then I would be lying because I would have quit two weeks ago. Yeah. Cable's been off for a couple of Oh, well, we'll have to look into that. As if he isn't turning around to that sound. What have you got screwed in there? 300 watt bulb? Do you try and attract every insect in quest of birdie? Seems like he's already got one insect pretty close to the light. Feel like going for a little ride? I'd like to show you something. Oh, God, he's going to show him his dick or something. He looks like that type of bloke. Is she by herself in the house now? Because, uh, no, I'm taking a day out for myself. I'll go to a spa, I'll go to a pool. Uh, I think a spa and a pool are the same thing. What I'm trying to say is I'm taking a day for myself to get out of the house, go to a park, get some lunch, and only come back when other people are in the house. <laughs> you did that to yourself. <laughs> you did that to yourself. That was your choice. Carol Ann, I understand that she's... Missed a lot of school. She got the flu as well, eh? I'm sorry. I didn't see her. She's around. She's actually made it pretty big in Hollywood. She's actually on TVs now. Well, our TV specifically, but she's made it. All of this can be your master bedroom suite. That can be your view. Interesting. I accept anything to get out of that godforsaken house I'm currently at. How much room for a pool is there? We own all the land. I decline, because I am not building a house on a fucking burial ground. No thanks. We've done it before. When? 76. Right down there. Oh shit. You guys are on a... No wonder why your house is fucking haunted. You guys are on someone's graves. You know what building a house on a burial ground is like? Having an Airbnb for the dead. Right? That's what you guys currently have. Nobody's complained until now. Now hopefully that clicked in his brain and he's like, holy shit, that's why we're haunted, because we're on a burial ground. It's an Oompa Loompa. She must have escaped from the chocolate factory. Oh, oh Jesus, Alex, you can't say that. It's gonna say, um, this is one small feat for her. <laughs> That was like a five kilometer run for that woman. Oh, I'm so sorry. Gotta respect our short queens, you know. Why is this door locked, Mr. Freeling? Uh-oh. Uh, a lot of reasons. Spinning bed, clown, Star Wars merch flying off the shelves. <laughs> Literally. That's the room my son and daughter used to occupy. This house has many hearts. Is that her actual voice or have they like pitch shifted it? I thought you said this tangina appearance was an extraordinary clairvoyant. She may be small, but it seems like she has big ears. Well, give me your hand. I'm not gonna bite you. And if I was gonna bite you, I'd only be able to bite your ankles. Come on down here. You're gonna give me a whiplash looking up at you. Okay, it's okay, because she made a joke about her own height. So I'm off the hook. Something that she wouldn't actually be able to even reach. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> there is no death. It is only a transition. Carol Ann is not like those she's with. I'm assuming the TV people that Caroline was referring to are then the people who were buried there. I'm also not aware that they have passed on. Oh. Well, that's a bit sad. A nightmare from which they cannot wake. A nightmare? I bloody tell you what we're going through is a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> Carol Ann. Over. Carol Ann, after she most likely gets out of this, like, plane, has to be the coolest five-year-old ever. Can you imagine her going to kindergarten and being like, guess what I did over the weekend? 
I actually went into the TV and spoke to dead people. I don't know what hovers over this house, but it was strong enough to punch a hole into this world and take your dog away from you. <laughs> That's scary. That's unsettling as hell. It says things only a child can understand. <laughs> But it is something far more dangerous. You know what Carol Ann being in like the walls and stuff is reminding me of? That episode of The Simpsons where Homer gets sucked into virtual land and then he's stuck in the walls? Carol Ann? Oh, I gotta pull it up. What kind of name is Carol Ann? Carol Ann is the type of name where you grow up to become a librarian nobody likes. Oh, yep. Bloody Carol Ann gave me a late book fee. I'm telling you, I haven't paid it for two months, but she won't leave me alone. Sweet Carol Ann. Bam, bam, bam. Quickly, who is she more threatened by, you or your husband? Neither. Uh, Steve decides the punishment. The oh, children come on, are. Not fair. I'm right about it on. later. Not judging my parenting, are we? If she doesn't answer you. She's going to get a spanking. Oh, come on. I've never spanked her children. <laughs> I've never spanked a TV in my life. So you're going to get a real spanking. From the both of us. Oh, she is fearful of that spanking. Damn. Run to the light, Caroline. Run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the cable man. <laughs> he knows what scares you. It has from the very beginning. She is really good at her job. She knows what she's talking about. I'd be careful walking in there if I was you. They had a bed flying around there before. That thing will just knock you out. Give me the tennis ball, Mark. Number one. Even she had to put sunglasses on because she knew how fucking flashy the movie was. Oh, that is the coolest game of catch ever. That's so cool. I know it's really dumb, but I would walk into the light because I would want to fall through the floor just because it would be fun. I have no idea what your character is saying, but I think it's probably good. Guys, tie the rope around you maybe first before you go in there. What is that? What what is that goo substance? I'm going in after her! Okay! Good luck! Oh, only when I say so! Only when I say! Oh man, that is really rough on my eyes. It just looks like an 80s disco, honestly. It just looks like you're walking into a club. She'll fall through the roof. That's how you'll know. You'll hear a... I honestly don't think I can watch much more of this. This is actually really hurting my eyes. I'm surprised half the people in the house aren't on the floor rolling around just screaming. Whoa! What the hell is that thing? I hope you're having a bloody long shower after coming out of that floor. Get him into the water! No, 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 I'm helping you. I don't know if the floor is like a metaphor for a human vagina or not, but like them coming out of the floor covered in icky, gross stuff and blood and meat, it's like they've just come out of a floor vagina. A flagina is what I call it. A crazy story about how you were born. Where were you born? Uh, actually, in my roof. Pardon? Hi, Daddy. <laughs> I feel like that is a metaphor, though. Like, they've been rebirthed out of... I don't know. Maybe I'm reaching. I'm reaching as hard as that, like, psychic woman was reaching for the children. This house is clean. I'm a little disappointed, honestly. I was hoping we would get to see what that other side looked like, but we didn't. I think it would have been so cool to, like, see the other side with all the hands and stuff. That would have been creepy as shit. Are you going to do anything uh, about this? No one. You're new gray. Love it. That teenage daughter had no character development at all, and now she suddenly loves her mum. <laughs> okay. I feel good, Stephen. I really do. 
Get that doll off her. Throw it in the bin. Uh, what happened to the clown, by the way? I thought that clown was going to scare the shit out of me in this, but it didn't. Now, I feel like a clown, which is ironic, actually. So we're leaving tonight for sure. Yeah, we are. Thank you. Can I come with you guys at all? Do you guys need an extra family member in there? They totally just said to each other, that was scary. Gently work it through. Oh, she better be playing with her brother, otherwise, black market. See ya. You get out of the solar system. Oh, thank get God. <laughs> oh, the fucking cloud thing's there. Get rid of it, please. So could you please answer the phone? Robbie, could you answer the phone for me, please? Uh, my name's not Robbie. I'm actually Han Solo. I mean, I guess if it is like your last night in the house, you would have like a nice relaxing bath before you leave. Oh, my God. God, cat, do not shake your head behind my chair. You just scared me. You are such an idiot for not... Like, why is that clown sitting there on that chair like that? Put it somewhere else. That dog is so cute. Oh, my God. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, shit. Oh, that makes me feel so gross. I feel disgusting. Ah, ha, ah, ah. ha. Ah! ah, fucking shit. Fucking clouds. Oh, ew, ew. Oh, yuck. Ah, oh, fucking tra- Bloody transitions. Whoa! <laughs> oh, no way. How did they do that? That's pretty crazy. I assume camera's just upside down, maybe the room or something. I mean, at the end of the day, the house is still on a burial ground. It's not like the issue is suddenly fixed. Dude, <laughs> grab your sister at the same time. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's unreal. That looks great. What even is that thing? Looks like I'm um, Jack Skellington's long lost brother. That daughter is thinking, I'm bloody gonna get sucked away again, aren't I? I've just gotten back. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. I would never go in a swimming pool ever again in my life. Oh, that's disgusting. That is actually fucking disgusting. I don't even think 16 showers would get you out of this mess. Speaking of the pool, what is the actual capacity? Because uh, we can't have too many people in the pool at once. Away from my I kind of respect her fucking bravery right now. She's dealt with so much. She's just like, fuck this. Like, where are my fucking kids, man? Oh, I love a vertigo shot. Oh, oh that is a wall butthole right there. That really is just a straight up wall butthole. He's thinking, damn, Robbie is getting into his bloody Star Wars role plays. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Talk about being dead on arrival. You son of a bitch, you left the bodies and you only moved the headstones. Well, why do you think we gave you the property half price? In all honesty, uh, this movie was pretty average up until this last finale. This is fucking wild. It was pretty tame, pretty mediocre until about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, there is a lot happening in this neighborhood right now. Oh my god. 
just house just did a massive fart out its wall butthole. That how did they do that? That is sick. I'm assuming that's like a miniature that's being composited or something. I'm assuming house prices just went right down. Yeah, that family's never ever going to be the same ever again. I hope you guys aren't expecting to get a good night's sleep for the rest of your life. <laughs> Dude, pick that TV up, just chuck it over the side. I'll happily pay the bill for a damaged TV. Fuck that. I'm never having a TV ever in my room again. It's going to turn on though, isn't it? Is it? No? My body's telling me the TV's going to turn on for some reason. No? Okay. So we're safe at the hotel? Well, hopefully the hotel food isn't as scary as where we just stayed. All right, so that was Poltergeist, otherwise known as if you have epilepsy, you probably aren't watching this part of the video. Uh, but rest in peace. I'm gonna be completely honest, about halfway through that, I wasn't really feeling it and I thought it was pretty average and I was actually wondering why is this considered as good as it is. And then the finale happened. In the same way that Child's Play 2 just ramps up to the very end, this movie does the same thing, and that's why I think it's really good. It's also a great message of if you watch too much television, chances are you will become the television. <laughs> From what I know, this movie has a couple of sequels and then a remake, so chances are I'll probably get onto those eventually. thought I heard something for a second. Freak me out. In terms of ratings, I'm actually going to give Poltergeist a 3.5 out of 5. I think it helps that by the end, it just ramps up to 100. And uh, that was just absolutely bonkers. That family is going to need therapy until the day they die. <laughs> I wonder if that dad took that promotion by the end. <laughs> or he was like, fuck this company. I'm going to go work at bloody Blockbuster Video. That's where I'm going to wrap the video for today. I'd love to thank you so much for watching. If you did, please do leave a big like or a little like depending on your thumb size. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out Patreon if you want to support me. But for now, I am going to... Hang on. What, what the hell? What is... Oh my god. Oh no. I need to feed my cat by 8pm. Thank <laughs> you.